This is Skip from the WSGF, and this is the first part in a video series that will show you, our users, how you can help contribute to the community by adding games to our games database. This first part is going to show what screenshots and what information you need to collect before adding a game to the database. So the first thing we're going to look at is, is the game I want to add already in the database? Is it there? Is that entry complete? Can I add to it or maybe do some more? For this example, we're going to be using Bioshock Infinite. So to look at our games database, you just go here and you click on games and it will bring you to this screen, which is our full list of games, what we call the master game list. And you can see here it starts with the numbers in ABC. And instead of scrolling through or whatever, we can just go in here and we can search for Bioshock. I've already done that here in another tab and it has pulled up two entries, Bioshock and Bioshock 2. So we know that Bioshock Infinite is not there. We can add it as a new title. And so I'm going to start showing you here what information to put together so that you can do that. So the first thing you need are screenshots. Um, I have a multi-monitor setup, NVIDIA Surround and AMD Ifinity, and I also have a 21 by 9 monitor. So I'm able to put together a full screen or narrow screenshot. Um, I choose to do a 5x4, a 1280 by 1024 because I'm running 1080p panels, and so I can't do a 1600 by 1200. Um, you could do a 1280 by 960 or a 1024 by 768, but my preference is to do the narrower 1280 by 1024 because it makes comparisons to 16 by 9, by 9 or 16 by 10 easier. I also have here the 21 by 9 and my multi-monitor screenshot, which I designate with a dash TH going all the way back to my first multi-monitor rig with the triple head to go. So you can see here I have labeled... Uh, my screenshots here with the game name, what the cut the screenshot is, these are the cutscenes, this is the game, and this is the menu screenshots, and following it up with what aspect ratio it is. You can use whatever naming convention you want. Uh, when you upload the primary screenshots into the form, the site will rename them to a standardized setting, but I find that something like this helps me keep everything organized, make sure that I've got all my cutscenes, all my menus, all my games, all my full motion videos and so forth. I've only played a little bit into the title and I haven't found any full motion video outside of the little intro videos when you start the game, so I don't have any of those yet. And that brings me to the point of when you're adding a game to the database, try as hard as you can to get screenshots from early in the game. This cutscene here is from the very opening cutscene and this here is what you first see if you restart the first checkpoint um, after you've entered the city. What this means is that, or what this allows for, is that if the game gets updated support, say there is an issue or a problem, uh, DMC Devil May Cry initially had some problems, but very quick, quickly the developer patched it. So if somebody had done an initial entry and we had initially graded that, somebody else could come along and update or add to. This also means that if you have just the single screen, um, 16 by 9 or 16 by 10, then you could do the first three screenshots here and then somebody else could come back and easily match up a 21 by 9 or a multi-monitor screenshot. So if you can keep that in mind when you're adding a game new to the database, uh, that would be helpful to everyone. So I've got my screenshots. The other thing that we're going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at Wikipedia. That is one of the fields um, for us and so I've got that. Um, it will oftentimes give us a good uh, piece of box art to use. If you scroll down to the very bottom, there'll be a link to the official website. So I'll come in here and put in uh, not my real birth date. We'll enter the website here and you can see that there are links to Facebook and Twitter, which I've already got open. Those are two more uh, fields for entry as well as the link for Metacritic and PC Gaming Wiki. So with these two, three, four, five, six links and a set of screenshots, you're ready to enter a game into the database. In the next video, we're going to show how to enter the basic game information and get started.